See, I don't know if I like oat milk. Vitamin. So I'm ready for the gym. I'm doing a bar class and off we go. So before I go to the gym, I just want to share that I have not been on here all week and it's because my skin is so bad right now. I go through flare ups. I have acne rosacea acne rosacea acne rosacea and whenever I eat egg whites I have an allergic reaction I continue to eat them because I enjoy them they're healthy they're full of protein and eggs in general I do like a good avocado toast with egg and every time it makes my skin break out and then I don't want to be on camera so I am not helping myself but I decided to come on here and share that with you guys because, you know, adult acne is not easy, it's not fun, it's embarrassing, and if you're going through it as well, I completely understand. I get it, I've been there. It took me almost a year to finally bite the bullet and go to a dermatologist and see what was up. And when I was going through it, people were rude to me. I remember I was going to get my nails done one day and a lady was like, asking me my age and when I told her, which I won't share, but when I told her she was like, oh I thought you were much younger, your skin is so bad and I was just, it was like, oh, like it really hurt me because I was already really embarrassed of my acne and she had just made the situation a little bit worse in my mind at least. So if you're going through it, I do feel for you. Know that there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel. It's just finding a good dermatologist and seeing how your body reacts to certain foods. I just recorded a really long video and then I pressed the wrong button and I deleted it. So happy Sunday. It's now Sunday. Let's just say the other day did not go as planned. What day does? Today we are going to Aspen's soccer game. We as in me. I am a single mother so it's just me, myself and I. But we're going to his soccer game. It's time to wake him up, get him some cocoa puffs and off we go. it's time to wake up. You have a soccer game today. Are you excited? No. Are you ready to win this? No. Like David Beckham? No. I Do don't. you want breakfast? Yes. Let's go. I found the soccer uniform. Thank goodness. So he is going to get dressed, we're going to make him breakfast, and then off we go. Right? Yes. Have some time to chat. Let me tell you why I didn't finish the video from yesterday. So I went to the gym and my stomach was really hurting. It's been hurting for the past three days. So I went to the doctors and keep in mind, I do not go to the doctors. Like I do not have good insurance and it is just, it's ridiculous what they charge me. I went to the doctors because I thought at this point maybe it was my pancreas. Um, I have had pancreas issues since I was 18 and they never really found out why. So every now and then, if I try new food, something just triggers a inflammation of some sort and the pain is excruciating. So they took blood and I now have to wait three to five days to see what is going on. But that is why, that is why I'm so big into health and fitness. And if you don't know about this already, I am certified health coach. Um, I got that certification back in February and I am very, very passionate about it just because I know how different every single body is, how different every single body reacts to food. And it is just, it's mind boggling. So when people say to me like, oh, you eat so healthy, which is not true, is it Aspen? I mean, yeah. I love ice cream, um, but I do try to eat healthy meals with the 
every day I believe in having dessert, every day I believe in having a snack, and those two things I kind of let myself eat freely, if you will. When I eat different food, I get so much pain that to me it's just not worth it. So I stick to the same food and meals that I know my body reacts to in an okay manner and that does not cause me pain. So on the day that I ha this pain started, I tried three new things. I tried these, I tried this, and I tried this other sort of yogurt which was low carb, a light and fit low carb one, and I looked at the ingredients and it had whey protein in it. So looking back, I know that it was probably the low carb, light and fit whey protein yogurts. So I had to throw those out. Um, my body does not react good to fake protein powders. I can have some protein bars. So let me show you those protein bars. I'm going to share with you my favorite that really do not hurt my stomach. If you have a sensitive stomach, these are the ones that I would recommend. I recommend them to clients and I really like them. So the first is the Quest. Um, my favorite is cookies and cream, s'mores and chocolate chip cookies. I actually when I'm using the chocolate chip cookie dough, I cut it into four pieces, I put them into little cookies, and I make them into cookies in the air fryer. One day I will walk you through that. Also, I really like Built Bars. None of this is sponsored, but I really like grasshopper cookie flavor, double chocolate flavor, and strawberry flavor, which tastes like you're eating Godiva. Godiva chocolate strawberries. They are really delicious, but keep in mind those um, grasshopper cookie and strawberry are two seasonal flavors, which means they are not available all around. Um, I love these. Love, 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 love. They're called Choco Right. I think they are hard to come by. You can buy them on Amazon and pay a premium. That's actually what I have to do. I found these when I was living in Manhattan. Uh, my local health store had them, and ever since it has been history. Um, of course, these two bars, they really taste like you're eating a chocolate bar, not a protein bar, and that is why I like them. I have such a huge, huge sweet tooth. I will never decline dessert, and I will always have something sweet for a snack. Now, I also really love these bars. You can buy them at Trader Joe's, or you can buy them off Amazon. They kind of taste like a mild crunch bar. They have these crunchy little chocolate pebbles on top. Really, really yummy. Um, in comparison to the Choco Right, they are more calories and more fat. It's just, it depends what your body needs, right? So again, going back to everybody is different. If you know that you do well with a high fat snack, which you probably do because of satiety reasons, then I definitely go for a barbell or a Quest. And if you want something kind of light and you're going to have like a yogurt or a piece of fruit, I would go for a Bilt Bar or a Choco Right Bar. So, that's it. I now have a very hungry boy who needs his breakfast. We're going to make him breakfast. I'm going to finally get dressed and a little bit more presentable. And then off we will go to drive him to soccer. Done? You yes. ready for soccer? No. So we have made it to the soccer field on time. Are you ready to make some goals? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, love it. So now we have to go before the game starts. Let's do this, right buddy? Yes. This one literally has cocoa pebbles still on his mouth. Where? Okay, let's... let's Where? Go. It's clean, it's clean. So what was the score, Aspen? 12 to 3. You got, how many goals did you do? Six. You were six goals? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yes. Positive? Uh, yeah. Confident you did good? Yes. So we are unexpectedly taking a trip into Target. Yep. My favorite time of year is Halloween because Target has all of this cute Halloween decor which we get every single year for every single holiday. 
guess you can say I'm a shopaholic. No, you're not. You're not it. So, so far, all we found is this shirt, which is perfect for Animal Kingdom, right? Yes. So, it's on sale for $9. This is why I can't take Aspen anywhere. Where's the hat? Just turned around and he now has a lion's head on him. Um, I got the shirt, I got these energy drinks, I did not have a bag because I forgot to bring one and in New York it's buy one, get one, so we didn't even get that much. And yeah, we had to go to the supermarket. So we got some crescent rolls because I'm going to expect to cook some yogurt. We love yogurt. I eat like three a day, I'm obsessed. Um, probably not the best for my skin, but I do it anyway. And now it's time to make some breakfast. dressing I will use balsamic and now let's sit down eat and chat so it's lunch time my salad is all chopped up and I will have probably seaweed with these um, this is one of my favorite salads I also really love my vacuum is talking healthier version of a chicken pot pie. It was absolutely delicious, super light. I paired it with a salad and some vegetables. I know this looks like a lot is eaten for me and Aspen, but first of all, I didn't eat the crust, and second of all, it's really, really thin. Um, so it's very good. I will link the recipe soon. And that was what was for dinner. As I said earlier, I always have dessert and I did so as I said earlier, I always have dessert and I didn't like my snack today, but I did have yogurt or like two of them. And for snack or dessert rather, I'm going to have a chocolate right bar, which tastes like a chocolate so bar. That is it. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us from soccer to target to meal time. I will see you next time.